Hey, it's Miss Mocha. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Happy Sunday. Um, I came to talk today about separation and the eight things that you have to do in order to reunite with your twin flame. Now, I'm not reunited with mine yet. But what I will say is that I know we are very, very close and God is just, you know, preparing us for reunion. Like, it's, it's so close. So... I'll come back and I'll do a video about reunion and the stages of it or like the signs that you know reunion is happening and when you get up to reunion because it is happening and it's like we're close. So here are my eight things. First, I'll tell you that separation for me is like a period of healing and growth. Like God will separate you, isolate you from pretty much everyone, especially your twin, to heal you guys from all the past trauma, all of that. Um, I also wrote more in more detail on my blog, singlemommismoka.com. Check it out for a more detailed list of the eight things. But yeah, so I think of it as separation being like spiritual school and God's the teacher. You know, he's going to take us through these lessons and we got to pass these tests before we can graduate to the next level and get the blessings. Um, and with each level comes new devils, you know, so you got to have more tests and lessons. Once you get complete with that and pass, you know, you graduate or you are healed and you've grown enough to be in union so once you come with your um or once union happens then you will get back with your twin flame and you guys you know court date marry all that good stuff and so these are the eight things though that you have to do in order to even get to you reunion so the first thing is keep the faith you have to keep god first it's his plan you have to um Put him first in everything you do. He's going to be the one that takes you along the journey. So you have to keep the faith and trust in him and believe him that he knows what's best. Number two is self-love. You got to love yourself. You got to, um, you know, put the pour into you and do the work on yourself before you can be with someone. That's just period. But number three is to stay positive. No negativity at all on this journey because the negative thoughts you know, become your negative feelings and then you start attracting negative things that happen into your life. So stay positive. Number four is manifest. You got to think it, speak it and believe it for it to happen. Number five is prepare your children. So while in separation and you're healing, you want to also be talking to your kids about what's going to come. You know, like I, for me, I had to prepare my kids, you know, about a husband coming. So also, if you have extended family, you know, you just want to prepare people for the change. You know, change is a big thing. So, yeah. Number six is do your research. And that's just, you know, also seeking answers from God, going online, checking out blogs with actual married, you know, spouses, twin flame spouses that are, you know, in union, that are healthy, things like that. That's what I did. And so number seven is do you have a life, have a life outside of this journey to where you're focusing on yourself. It's, it's more to loving yourself. You want to also enjoy yourself too. So take yourself out, get to know what you like to do, get some alone time. So that's good. And the last thing is have patience because it's divine timing. You know, it's God's time. You got to have patience for it to all unfold and to get through school, you know, school was what, kindergarten to 12, think of it like that, then you got to have the patience to go through each level so you can learn everything you need to learn before you are reunited with your twin flame. So, yeah, those are my eight things that you have to do. Check them out on the website. Again, singlemommissmocha.com. Bye.